uh, okay guys let's look at uh, hydraulics so uh, these are the formulas that uh, ha you have in the uh, formula sheet so they say a uh, force uh, the same pressure is equal to a force on the rim divided by area of the rim or pressure is equal to a force of uh, the plunger divided by area of the uh, plunger then we are having uh, this one say volume on the uh, rim side is equal to a uh, volume of the uh, plunger depending on the number of stroke so that means uh, the volume on the rim is equal to the volume on the plunger multiplied by the number of stroke or the number of pumping stroke in the plunger and uh, we're having area is of the ram multiplied by the distance moved by the ram is equals to, which is represented by h is equals to area of the plunger multiplied by uh, the le the length moved by the plunger which is l so uh, we are having uh, let's start by uh, this force formula so they say uh, force of the force on the rim side over area of the rim is equals to is equals to force of the uh, plunger over area of the uh, plunger area of the plunger so remember guys we are uh, having uh, the, f uh, the formula to calculate the area area is equals to uh, pi uh, d squared over 4 so uh, in uh, this case we are having the force of the uh, rem divided by uh, pi d squared over 4 which uh, this d is the diameter of the rem which equals to uh, the force of the plunger over the area of the plunger which is pi d squared over 4 so this will uh, small letter d uh, represent the diameter on the plunger so because we are having a 4 this side and a 4 will cancel uh, on the other side and we are having this pi and the pi will cancel on the other side so we are left with the formula say the force of the rem over a diameter of the diameter of the rem squared is equals to uh, force of the plunger over uh, the diameter of the rem squared so now we are having uh, this uh, formula say force of the plunger over a uh, force of the plunger over the diameter of the plunger is equals to uh, force of the rem divided by uh, diameter of the rem which is a, the same formula uh, from the uh, formula sheet is just be uh, this one is the original formula say force pressure is equals to force of the plunger divided by uh, area of the uh, sorry uh, force of the plunger for or oh, pressure so pressure is equal to uh, force of the rem divided by uh, area of the rem oh, or pressure is equal to uh, force uh, of the plunger divided by force uh, divided by area of the plunger so uh, this formula uh, uh, gives uh, okay, so this formula defined that uh, the re uh, pressure on the rem side is equal to the pressure on the uh, plunger. So uh, let's look at uh, this uh, formula. The okay, so uh, this formula says the volume of the rem is equal to. So we're saying a uh, volume volume of the rem is equals to a uh, volume of the uh, plunger depending by the number of stroke so to calculate a uh, volume is equals to a uh, pi uh, d squared over 4 multiplied by l or uh, okay is a uh, height so uh, then uh, h uh, represent on the rem side area uh, we having pi d of the rem squared over 4 multiplied by 
uh, H, which H will represent uh, the the distance moved by uh, the rem. So this one H will be the distance moved by the rem, which is equal to uh, pi pi d squared over 4 multiplied by the stroke length of the rem, which is the distance moved by the so the stroke length is the distance moved by the plunger. So this one is the stroke length of the plunger multiplied by the number of stroke or pumping stroke, which is this n. Okay. So then, because we have pi this side, we can say pi here. Four, we can say a four here. Then we remain with a d squared multiplied by h is equals to d squared multiplied by l multiplied by n so this one has uh, said uh, the volume of the volume on the ram side is equal to the volume on the plunger depending by the number of stroke in the plunger so if we are having a uh, one uh, pumping a uh, stroke which is n will be equal to one that means uh, the volume of the ram the volume of the rem will be equal to the volume of the plunger if we're having one pumping a stroke but uh this n said depending on the okay the rem uh, the the pressure or the volume of the rem is equal to the volume of the plunger depending by the number of the stroke in the plunger so if we are having a uh, two pumping a stroke we're going to multiply the volume of the plunger multiplied by the number of pumping stroke we will get the volume on the rem side so then we end up uh, in this uh, formula they say d squared multiplied by h is equal to d squared multiplied by l multiplied by n which means uh, that this one is the diameter of the rem multiply by the distance moved by the rem which will be equal to the distance uh, the diameter of the plunger multiplied by the stroke length of the plunger the stroke length is the distance moved by the uh, plunger multiplied by the number of stroke uh, okay so then we left with uh, this uh, formula so uh, to make uh, th to make things easy you must know how to drive uh, this formula into uh, this formula then uh, again how to uh, use uh, this uh, formula th uh, with uh, this uh, formula then this one is uh, P equals to so which means uh, pressure on the rem is equal to pressure on the plunger that's why we're having a uh, force of the plunger over a rem is equal to a uh, pressure over force of the plunger over the force the area of the uh, plunger okay so i hope you will find uh, this uh, information uh, useful okay but okay let's come uh, to uh, this uh, equation this equation is the uh, same as uh, this uh, equation but here they say area uh, area of the rem multiplied by the distance moved by the rem which is equals to uh, the volume uh, of the rem then equals to, to the area of the plunger multiplied by the length of all the okay this one is the length of the plunger or the distance moved by the plunger which is equal to the volume of the volume of the uh, plunger okay so i hope you find uh, this uh, information useful uh, so you can comment or uh, put a uh, questions so i will make sure that i'll answer all the questions you are asking cheers